guys, um, I figured I'd do another video just to kind of showcase more of this spider deck. Um, I've went ahead and cleared out this dungeon, uh, these five battles, um, just to get to the boss. And we're going to give this shot number one and see how it goes. Now this boss is actually really, really tough because <clears throat> it gains a lot of life and has a lot of effects that build off of the life gain. But I feel like my last video didn't showcase like the, how crazy the spiders can get. Um, terrible hand. Hmm. Also not a great hand. That's better. And we got a price decrease on that, which is nice. So, first turn, of course we're going to play this Hatchery Priest as soon as we can to start getting spider eggs into their deck. Which I actually... Uh, huh. That one doesn't have it. I actually found out how to lock, unlock extended animation for it. When this dies, transform it into a soothing breeze and put it into your hand. I'll gain 7 health. See its effects here. Pay three. Uh, deal damage to target champion equal to the number of troops you control. Gain health equal to the damage dealt this way. And form of retribution. Uh, when you gain health, a random troop you control gets plus one, plus one. It's quite a difficult boss. Um, go ahead and get that out and do our oracle song so we can draw some cards. And I actually, I use my traits, and I can do a, once per game, I can pay two mana and put a random train troop into my deck. Or in my hand for my deck. Uh, looks like we got more kind of high cost. Guys. But, I'm thinking next time we might get the train troop. in the necropolis. See, that's where it starts getting to be a pain in the ass, because every time it gains life, one of its troops get plus one, plus one. And anytime you gain health, I'm going to lose a health every time it gains health. And it's got life drain. Alright. Um... do that. We're going to go ahead and do the one shot. Not a bad card. We're going to hit their health for two with our champion power. Put two spider eggs in there and then give them another spider egg. Now next time we can get Zilf out then that's going to help quite a bit. Harvester, Life Drain, Swift Strike. Oh my gosh. But now, see, it's not doing this effect yet because, see, it doesn't have the threshold of three blood and three diamond mana. So. <coughs> Alright. Ooh, do we want to play Seal for another Hatchery Priest? Now, see, this is extended art. If you notice this one has the, the writing and everything. That one, in my hand anyway, and on the field, it doesn't have it because I purchased extended art. And the way that works is sometimes when you open packs, you'll get uh, Stardust, and you can buy uh, extended art with that, depending on the rarity of the card and stuff. Um, we're going to go ahead and play Zeal, just in case. Because he's the one that uh, weakens their monsters whenever I get spiders, and he gives them four spider uh, eggs into their deck. <clears throat> oh man. Life drain and swift strike. Damage to each opposing champion. Okay. Go ahead and 
get rid of that guy. And you gain a charge, gain two health. Man. But luckily he doesn't have that threshold. That's what got me last time was he got that threshold really fast. And I mean, he was gaining a ton of stuff. Now this is a nice card I recently got. Uh, when you draw a card, bury the top card of each opposing champion's deck. And it stays out. It's a really, really nice card. So we're going to go ahead and play that. Because the faster I can bury their cards, the faster I can get more spiders out. And that guy doesn't have life drain. Nor does this guy. So we're just gonna block it like this. Take the one damage. Played a neophyte. And then they lose a card. Okay. I think we're gonna play Vicious Vivisector. And that lets me bury the top three cards of their deck. And see, I got a bunch of spiders. Three spiders because of the two effects on these guys. And see, it weakened his team quite a bit up there because of this guy right here. And now, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and attack with him. Now's when this deck starts getting really fun because you, you'll start getting spiders about every turn because you're having them discard and draw and stuff. I think we'll go ahead and play this guy because we can tap him and then destroy the top card of their deck. Which is a really, really nice effect. But we need to watch out because these these guys suck. I have some in my deck too, but if he hits... Hey, well, he's still far off from that threshold right now. Doesn't seem like he's drawing a lot of white mana. Spiders, there went his mosquitoes, because this guy must have taken away their defense. And, you know, once they hit zero defense, they're dead. That's why, once I get him out, generally I don't have to worry about small mobs. Um, we'll go ahead and tap this guy and get rid of the top part of their deck. And then, uh... And we'll get our brood guard out. And put six more spiders into their deck. And we'll hit them with all this. Oh, that one can't attack yet. Um, but yeah, this deck's fun because you're using. I mean, these little spiders are getting seven health. These little spiders are just one ones, but I mean, this turn. You know, that was like, like 10 damage. I don't remember what the original was, but knocked him down to 26. Even after he gained the 7 health. So, and we'll appear pretty quick. We'll be swarming him, see? We just got a ton more spiders. And I don't even have, like, some of the cards that really help it out. Uh, like my ones that... Give me two charges every time I hit their health. The flying um, ones. Now this one's really nice because it puts Terra Tantula eggs, two of them in there. Which these are five fives and they instantly destroy a creature when they come out. Very powerful cards. So we're going to go ahead and play that. And we'll go ahead and abominate. Sacrifice one of these. Make one of these 4-4 uh, spider. That's one thing I like to do because Abominate's so easy to play. Sacrifice a creature, 
because you can just sacrifice a 1-1 a one, one spotter, and that's not an issue at all. Especially once you start getting a ton of these. Um, there was a match earlier I actually had over 20 of these spotters out at once. It's kind of crazy. And... Now we'll hit them for... Uh, there's no telling. We just attack with everything at this point, because even if he attacks with this one damage, uh, we can block it with something. I don't know. I'm not too worried about one damage. Because <clears throat> we just hit him for 18. <laughs> now, I will say, uh, there's times where early on you'll... Um, You'll get hit pretty hard because this deck does take a second to build up. But once it builds up, it is very powerful. But chances are he's dead this next turn. Now this is a really nice card I recently got. Anytime you or your opponent plays a card, any kind of card, even mana, your opponent loses the top card of their deck every single time. And it's a 2-2 for 2. It's an amazing card. Definitely worth getting for this deck. And Suffocate's another nice one I recently got, because it's an interrupt spell for any kind of card, and it puts two spiders in there, which is wonderful. So you're talking with this, combined with the Lookouts, though they're losing a lot of cards. Plus this guy, tap him every turn, they lose a card. So I mean, you're sitting here just eradicating their deck, and then hitting them with little unblockable spiders. And basically, it's really hard for them to survive it. <laughs> One health. I mean, I probably could have attacked with everything. Yeah. Let's see what happens. So here comes more spiders. And see that that card that used to be really strong. One more now. And uh, three one with flight. Let's get spiders instead. Just because we can. And there goes their entire field and we get a bunch of spiders. <laughs> and... Eh, let's draw an extra card. Just see if we get some more spiders. Yep, there's more spiders. And see, this guy, um, he creates two spiderling eggs every time he hits their health, and he's flying. 1-1. One, one. So, yeah. I wish there was just an attack all button. So we'll see what kind of uh, negative health we get them down to here. And this is honestly, this deck right now, I mean, I've only been playing with it for, you know, a few hours. This is the first day I've been playing it. So, I mean, I've got a few cards from the, um, from the campaign, but I have yet to actually purchase any cards in the auction house or buy any packs, anything like that. And this deck's already, I mean, it's pretty stout. It's not, granted, it's not the best thing, but I have seen some cards in the auction house. See, we did 26 damage that turn, which is incredible. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely enjoy this deck a lot. So, see we got 200 gold, 350 XP, and we got a pack. So we'll open it and see. Dust ring, uh, life drain of flight, 3-1. Um, it's not something, plus it's diamonds, but throwback. I actually got one of these earlier. They're kind of nice. Uh, two mana, one blue threshold. It's quick actions, so you can cast any time. And uh, target troops going to get negative one attack and get put back into its controller's hand. Because one thing that's different about this game, um, if you didn't know, in comparison to like Magic or something, is when a card gets negative to their stats and then gets put back in the hand, they're going to keep that negative to their stats. You know. So, Dream Bear, yeah, Crush, get five health, but I don't play that. I don't play green. Ashwood Colossi. Let's 
opponent's attacks, other troops you control get two of the following at random. Crush, Rage 2, Speed, Step Faster, Swift Strike. That's actually really nice, though. And Bear Idol. Uh, your Dream Bears have one green threshold, discard this, gain five health. Huh. So you can just discard it and get the five health and not have to pay the six to cast it. But none of those or anything I'd want, except maybe throwback. I'm still debating on that one. So, and we'll actually see, because I do believe that finishes a quest. So I'll go turn it in and we can see what's in that pack. So, I know I get really excited to see what's in the packs. So, um, return to the cave in, which is here. And this is actually a town map, uh, which I don't think I showed off in the video. It's not too crazy, but you can kind of kind of look around the town and stuff and talk to different NPCs. And yeah, we got another Tranquil Dream Pack, and we're getting kind of close to leveling. But see, like that was 500 gold. I think for beating that boss was quite a bit of gold. So, and you you actually generate gold pretty fast, and it seems like. You know, if you played this campaign for a while, you made a new character and started a new campaign. Because the, um, the starting areas and quests and stuff like that seems to be different depending on your starting race. So, uh, we got a burn, deal two damage, sapper charge, sacrifice this, this deals two damage to target champion or troop. Uh, that's an artifact. Um, enter the dream. Constant. When this enters play, put your crypt into your deck. When you play a card, draw a card. When a card enters your crypt, put it in your deck. It's actually kind of crazy. It's not something I would use due to the fact that it's green, but... Tonko of Terror. Each of your cards named Sora. Instead, have one sacrifice another troop. Draw a card. Lose two health. One sacrifice another troop. Gain three health. Thorn Quiver. Deal 4 damage to target troop with flight. Eh. Nothing I'd want, but... See, I've actually only done a couple battles in that dungeon since, um... That last video, and I've already gained, like, 2,000 gold, so... And... Gave me a hundred XP for that. Find the lost gnomes in the northern desert. Okay. But, um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to kind of do an update and hopefully show off the actual effectiveness of the spiders and how you can kind of play them. Because it took me a little while to, to figure out the fine aspects of it. Like, when I first started, I thought, you know, only if they draw the spider does it give me spiderlings. So, there for a while, I wasn't focusing as heavy on, like, discards and stuff. But then I realized, like, how effective that actually becomes and all. So, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to do that update and show off a little bit more of this game. I'm really enjoying it. Um... But if you enjoyed watching this, um, definitely give this game a shot. It's a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, I'll get back to you, and if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, and, yeah, uh, take care, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.